Welcome back to another installment of New Zealand Bird of the Week, where in this video I will be talking about the flesh-footed shearwater, medium-sized dark seabirds that have light pink feet that give them their name. I hope you enjoy. Flesh-footed shearwaters are medium to large-sized dark seabirds that have long and relatively broad wings, as well as long pointed tails. They are uniformly dark plumaged, which contrasts heavily with their pink-white bills and white, flesh-coloured legs after which they are named. They specialise on small fish caught by shallow dives into shoals, or occasional deeper dives reaching 30 metres in depth, also feeding on small squid. Nesting and breeding takes place on offshore islands around northern New Zealand and around the Cook Straits, with the largest colonies being located on the Chicken and Mercury groups, Ohinau and Karawa Islands. They breed from September to May, with them laying a single large white egg, laid from early to mid-December, which then hatches in late January or early February. Their breeding burrows which they nest are normally dug on well-drained sites like sandy or clay soils, and or under tall forest or low coastal shrubs such as Talpata or Kanuka, with some being up to 4 metres in length. They are also trans-equatorial migrants, flying north directly after breeding via the top of the Tasman Sea, or past Fiji and Tonga before heading northwest at the equator to reach the seas of Japan. Birds can be attracted to boats, following them in hopes of fish scraps or offal being discharged, which happens frequently enough for them to associate the vessels with food. However, this persistence puts them at odds with both recreational and commercial fishers, often with fatal consequences. They are regularly caught as bycatch, and although most drive them off harmlessly, there have been some instances of them being injured or killed by fishers hitting them to keep them away from fishing baits. Thankfully, their breeding sites in New Zealand are all except for one absent of introduced predators or of pest control happening, and so are clear of most land-based threats. The Lord Howe shearwater population has however encountered problems with heavy metal contamination, the cause of which is not fully understood, but is likely due to the ingestion of significant quantities of plastic, something which continues to become more common as many single-use plastics continue to be used. Recent surveys have also found far fewer birds than expected, with a survey of eight major colonies finding 8,000 pairs, with a further 3,000 occurring on Middle Island, with the total New Zealand population therefore being less than 12,000 pairs. They are currently classed as nationally vulnerable in New Zealand, and while they still face challenges, for the moment they are still doing okay. And with that, I thank you for watching this instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week. For next time, you are now able to vote for the Westland Petrel, the largest burrowing petrel still breeding on the New Zealand mainland, where their large size and aggressive temperament afford some protection from introduced predators. And with that, I'll see you next time, whenever that may be.